it is January 13, 2012 and last night Vizio released a software update which now allows the 3D TV range to play back USB video. So if I click on Vizio apps and then on the USB drive we now have a new option for video. You go down and then across. You can see the new uh, list of videos which are on my USB drive. This is just to demonstrate the different formats. Note that the update will allow the playback with numerous different types of formats, but it will not support 3GP nor will it play back FLV flash videos. This is a quick time video, it is very short. Hey Bobby! As you see now the quality was quite good and it did play back sound. This is Star Trek which the DVD is in front of you which does take a second now or two to buffer. If I can OK. And don't pause it by accident. And this was a DVD which had been compressed to 700 megabytes. So this is a very highly compressed video. The next one is a MPEG video, which I was experimenting on the graphics and the video is also a little bit corrupt. However, it still plays it. some of the corruption on that video. I also think it would help having a faster USB drive. The one I'm using here is a 4 gigabyte, but it's an old slow drive so in comparison I would recommend using the biggest fastest USB thumb drive you can get hold of. This is a Windows Media video and is very very old and uses one of the older formats of Windows Media video. So once again this is very highly compressed and you can see that in the video. But it does playback sound fine and the sound works fine. The next one is a MP4 video which was recorded off my old family phone, Galaxy phone. February 10, 2011. Not quite sure what's going on. But at the moment, it seems we've got an armed Coast Guard escort. For some reason, these two Coast Guard guys who've been walking on the boat. This next video is a AVI video. And as you can see, once again, this is an old video of my son learning to talk. And for a second, it flashed up, then audio codec not supported. I have tried other AVI videos and they do seem to work fine, uh, so I guess it just depends on what audio system you use when you recorded them. And finally, this is a video of a crank which is also in front of you. However, this one is 1.3 gigabytes in size and has been compressed and uses six channel surround sound. So once again this is a widescreen video, 368 by 192 resolution. And once again full surround sound. On the video it does support pause play, you can fast forward at three different speeds. And I'm not going to play the sound here because I don't want to get in trouble for copyright, but as you can see, it will play the video fine. So there you have it. This is just a quick demonstration of 
the Vizio internet connected 3D TVs which now support full video playback via USB.